What's up? What is going on? What's going on in the market? What's happening? Okay, in this video, we'll be going over the bombshell that is the market. But luckily, we are investors and we are equipped for this and ready to take it on. Because in this video, we'll be dealing with how bond rates and interest rates affect the market. Okay, so it has been a doozy of a week, of two weeks, of just market mayhem. Okay, now today the markets bounced a bit, and but the five days, six days before that, it was just going downhill. It was chaos, okay, crazy. But there is a reason to the madness, so let's get into it. Okay, so we all know we are here to invest okay so the big thing about investing is you need to do dollar cost averaging so that means having a long-term view first of all on your stocks and being convicted about your stocks so you've done proper research you know why you're investing into these stocks so now all you got to do is stick with your game plan unless your game plan really really changes on a fundamental level so the best thing to do in these types of market turnarounds or revaluations or just re uh, redistribution of, of funds is to either buy the dip, okay, or just buy as it goes down, does dollar cost averaging, and by the time you know, because you've done your research, it's going to go back up. So the reason why it is, interest rates have an effect on the stock market, especially now. So what happens is, interest rates go up which causes inflation to go up well it's kind of linked inflation goes up interest rates goes up so what that means is future stock growth or growth stocks they tend to go down now the reason for that is very simple and it sounds complicated but all that is to do with it so just a clarification because it confused me is when i speak about interest rates i'm talking about the interest rates that bonds give out or that 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 10 year yield interest rate that everyone's talking about that is linked to just the interest rate that is either put on government bonds or um, and corporate bonds and it is usually standardized by the fed of the us now the big reason for why interest rates have such a big effect on the stock market especially growth stocks is because the time value of money okay so how it works is we all know if you've done some basic financial maths if you haven't don't stress but it comes down to that point where if you're calculating a value today and what it would be worth today if you had it 10 years down the line you would have to discount i.e bring that values like a value down from the future rate because money in the future is not the same value as the money today, okay? So, in lameness terms, if you have 100 Rand today, 100 Rand today is not the same value in the future, okay? 100 days today value worth would be about like 90 something, 80 Rand something, I don't know, in the future to have the same equivalent value. It is a doozy sometimes, but just think about it. And that is the main thing about inflation. Inflation is evil. That's why cryptocurrencies get rid of inflation. But let's not go into that. That's deflation. So growth stocks are valued for the revenue they can bring in when they grow. Hence growth terms. So a lot of their revenues or a lot of their stock confidence is based on what future growth will do for them. Now, what you do is, and what a lot of analysts do is, they account for that growth today so they have to account for the time value of money and how do you account for the time value of money is by using the interest rate i.e a higher interest rate means you have to discount it more to today's value meaning less value but that is like the broad sense now how does it actually affect bonds okay because that now was how stocks influence the growth interest rates of these stocks but now you've got to focus on the bond market because that is the big culprit of this market turnaround correction, whatever you want to call it, that we've had in the past time. 
as rates go up, borrowing costs go up. And that means consumers and businesses tend to spend and borrow less. So because the interest rates have gone up and your borrowing costs have also gone up, bonds become more attractive because governments and entities putting out bonds have to pay you more to borrow your money. Because in crux, what is a bond? It's literally you giving your money to government or company so that they can use it. And then they promise you an interest return on that money you've lent them. So now that is the borrowing cost. So governments have a borrowing cost, but now as interest rates move up, these bonds tend to give you more, making it harder for them to lend and borrow. So you get more out of the package. So there's more selling and buying of bonds. So what it comes down to is when the economy does well, your bond bulls tend to drop out of bonds. So they sell them, meaning they, they're increasing the long-term interest rate of these bonds. Okay, so that's pretty much all that's happened. So then what that cascaded to was a lot of revaluing of the value stocks. So a lot of the growth stocks funds were moved to value stocks. Now, all this has done has actually done a lot better for the market because now it means that the bull market that was in the growth sector has now also moved to the value stock sector. So your bull market is wider, meaning you have more stocks to pick from to have a great bull run, okay? So it's very, very healthy for the market. So don't freak out. Remember that mistake, don't freak out. Stick to your investment tactics. This is a great buying opportunity for stocks you really believe in and you know will work because they are cheaper now than what they would have been. And stocks have already started bouncing like as I was making this video. So it is healthy for the stock market to do this. You just need to know what's happening and if it's not actually a crash, but just a reevaluation or the bond market just bugging things up. So if you look at like what Kathy Woods also said about it when they had their market update is she calls this good innovation deflation. But that is pretty much it. Don't get freaked out about the bond market. But all that means is just know that why interest rates have such an effect on bond rates. It's all based on that time value of money. And that's why growth stocks are obviously going to be affected by that just because they get looked too far in the future where value stocks is more about the year now and what they have already done. So all it is, it's healthy for the stock market. Just don't freak out, do proper studies, have your diversified portfolio to not obviously just be on growth. Um, we obviously know that growth investing is mainly the future, in my opinion, but you gotta have some value stocks in there. You gotta anchor your portfolio just a little bit for events like these. And today out there, there is quite a lot of growth and value stocks. So find them and we'll also find them giving. So, Hope that helps. Hope you didn't freak out too much from the market. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe. See you next time.